Hi, three most gentlemen. I hope that you're having a blessed day. We're navigating the matrix, living the pirate's life. So we have to take an example and a look at what happens when you get stuck. And when you get when you stop pursuing that pirate's life, man. When you get off course, when you get off the narrow road. So because listen, this is this is what we need to talk about. There no one is really doing this. I'm telling you, it's a bunch of bullshit what's going on in the world. And I'm sounding a little upset, you know what, because, you know, it's a bunch of BS. First off, self, self-improvement self community has a giant stick up its ass. And it's my job to pull it out. You guys are taking yourself way too seriously. I see this too on Instagram. What's with this trend? All of these guys trying to be renaissance men, posting pictures of like old art, listening to classical music, um, you know, and, and trying to be perfect. Like, I don't know. I, there's nothing wrong with old art and classical music. I like those things. But, dude, everyone's taking themselves so serious. What is it? You're trying to build a brand? Fine. I get it. I get what you're doing. Why is everyone taking themselves so serious? I guarantee you the Spartans, you know, when they're training, I bet you they weren't that serious. People probably take themselves too serious and get cynical. Not cynical, but they get a little bit of a stick in their ass when they're alone. And they have no one to pull that stick out. Right? The Spartans are probably cracking jokes. When you're with your boys, you're having fun. You're a little bit crude. You're a little, you use a little bit of humor. You don't take yourself so damn serious. Why are we doing that in this world? All right? That's a huge key, man. That's a huge key. As a man, you're not supposed to be perfect. So stop trying to be perfect. Just be a man. And uh, if you have two nuts, then you're a man. Okay? You're a man, and all you need to do is stop being so stressed out about life. One thing at a time. So let's dive into this a little bit more, because what does that mean, one thing at a time? And let's look at the trap of when you get off doing what's in front of you, what's important to you. And uh, you get caught up back into living lo- sort of how the world tells you to live. All right. So this is from one of our guys on Discord. He said, I'm working as a software developer. But I don't know if that should be the most important thing in my day. Right now, it isn't. For me, it's priority number one to take care of myself and my girlfriend. Okay. Young guy. Got a lot of potential. This is where you get fooled. He goes on to say, I really like my job and enjoy it. There are a billion aspects I really like, and I would miss it if I wouldn't have it. But two years ago, I tried to make my own software company with a friend, and we failed. But in this time, I was so on fire, like barely in my life. The only issue was that I went 110% into the company and every aspect of my life suffered due to this. So it had to be to cut and end there. Right now, I don't know if I should retry this and try to balance life more to make it successful for me. Right now, I would rate this be more like my thing in life, but I don't know. Is it bad that only a hobby is the thing in the day like sports? Okay, listen, dude. Your girlfriend is not your number one priority. And doing a bunch of little habits is not your number one priority. Going, you're, So far, you're doing it. You're going to work. You're, you're worrying about your girlfriend taking care of her. You're doing your habits, meditation, probably doing a cold shower here, maybe lifting a little bit of weights. Okay? Great habits, good habits to have. None of that is setting you up to get out of the pirate's life or to get out of the matrix, man. Seriously. None of that... You're doing things that are going to cement you where you are. This is the problem, man. You gave up on something two years ago. Something you tried, you failed. There's no nothing wrong with failing. It's good. The problem is in your thinking that you need to be balanced. You don't get to be balanced, man. Life wasn't meant to be balanced. You just live your life. Some things don't get some things aren't as important as others. What's important now is that you work on that software company. You go back in. I guarantee that you were not giving 110%. 
You weren't giving 110%. You didn't burn out. What you did was you didn't focus on the right thing. You know how I know this? Because there's 24 hours in a day. And if you keep, if you dedicate like four hours a day where you have intense focus, really the ability to work, and you're not BSing, and you do that four hours a day, you're not going to burn out first off after four hours. And you can do four hours repeatedly, consistently, week after week, month after month, with a few rests in between, year after year, and I would say a minimum of seven years. We know the law of seven, and you just take seven years for things from zero to really get started. To really, to, to make it to really, you know, things are happening. The fruits of your labor are paying off. You, you probably went in, you probably did some stuff. You were probably BSing a lot. And I'm, I'm saying four hours. What about if you just did one hour a day, focus, do the work, and show up. Do what's in front of you. Do the most important thing. Then you would see intense progress. But you probably didn't do that, man. You probably didn't. You're probably more of a stress, like trying to handle this and that. Maybe you didn't delegate to anyone. Maybe you didn't take care of laying the correct foundation. If a foundation is built on sand, then as you stack more things on top of it, it's going to crumble. Maybe you work with someone that uh, that that you couldn't, that you didn't want to work with. I don't know what it is, but I guarantee you that if you walk away from trying to make this all for company, and you know, or, or to at least try to build something. You're going to be stuck in life, man. Say goodbye. Take off the, you know, lay down the flag. Lay down the flag. Go back to shore because the pirate's life isn't for you. Okay? Simple as that. Your number one priority, I'll tell you right now, is not your girlfriend. And it's not having more habits. The habits are meant to help you do the most important thing for the day. We know that 80% of our outcomes are based off of the 20% of things that we're doing. If you just take that lesson from this video and you begin to apply that to your life, your brain is actually going to relax. Stop trying to do everything in your life. Stop trying to always be busy. Stop trying to wake up and rush and go around and no, just think about, okay, what would, what would, I have my goal. What would get me closer to my goal? And then try to do that thing and, and try to do the biggest thing that's in the way of you getting to your goal. And if it's a really big thing, then chip away at it. Maybe if it's really big, get some more men to come in with you, help you, chip away at that goal. That's the only way you're going to get there. Not by, oh, this is a big obstacle. Oh, let me go um, let me go worry about some habits. Let me go worry about my girlfriend. Oh, she, let me go work my job. I like it. It's good. Great, man. But listen, like you're going to be doing that for a long time. Eventually, the number one priority is going to be your wife, then your kids, then uh, then the work. It's, it's not going to change. This is your only life. Live your life how you want to live it. Don't walk away from the call. Answer that call, dude. Seriously. All you guys need to answer the damn call. Stop overthinking so much. You're piling too much shit on your plate. At the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, it should be simple. One thing. What can you do? Boom. All right, one thing I'm going to do it. One thing I'm going to do it. You show up, you get it done. The next thing is made clear. If it's a big obstacle, that's exactly where you need to be. If it's if it's if it's stalling you out for days on end, maybe maybe you're unsure. You're like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Sometimes you're just not sure. I'm not sure. Good. The obstacle is the way. All right, Marcus Aurelius. What stands in the way becomes the way. Dude, that's it, man. That it's going. That is the way. You have to return to the pirate's life. You have to return to your purpose, to the calling, to to doing the scary things. It's not always easy. Sometimes you get unbalanced. Sometimes your woman leaves you. It says in the Bible, you know, it, you you may have to leave. It, it says Jesus says, I believe to his feet, like if you want to follow me, your parents, your friends, they may rebuke you. They'll hate you. You got to leave behind. This and that, like you gotta take, you gotta take up the cross, man. And the cross is heavy, you know. the The daily burden is heavy. So, are you willing to do that? But um, seriously, keep it simple, bro. I wish you a blessed day. Uh, if you need help, I'm here for you. So are all the men on the Discord. 
use the Discord for what it is, the accountability, okay? The camaraderie. I mean, use it, man. I know you are. I'm seeing you in here. Thank you for being honest and bringing up this question. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.